Hello, you fine internet folks. We're here at Intel's Enterprise Tech Tour, where there has been much disclosure about the much anticipated Granite Rapids. That is Intel's uh, new Xeon 6 lineup. They're all core, all P core SKUs. And this is just sort of a off the cuff, um, sort of first thoughts um, just after some talks and, and the presentations were given. Um, so Xeon 6. Let's look at the lineup. There's essentially four what were known as dies: the UCC, XCC, HCC, and LCC versions. To dive into that a little bit more, UCC or ultra core count SKUs go up to this. This is what was known as Granite Rapids AP. This is up to 128 cores. Awesome. Great. Amazing. That is three compute dies with two IO dies. And that's something you'll see for all of these is that they all have two IO dies. Now, the one, the the sort of Granite Ridge SP, sort of your standard, um, more mainstream server parts, that's a that's the XCC dies or extreme core count. Um, that's up to 86 cores. And then we get into the smaller dies, which a lot of people find quite interesting. And those are the HCC or high core count and LCC low core count dies. Now, when I'm saying dies, I mean in terms of the maximum core count that any given product stack within these, within Granite Rapid supports. And HCC supports up to 48 cores. What's really interesting here though, is that LCC supports only up to 16 cores, and it does appear to be a different die. So we do have different compute dies. Now, what does that mean for memory channels and and all that? Well, likely UCC we know has 12 channels. XCC has eight channels. And because the um the memory controllers are on the compute dies, unlike AMD, where the memory controllers are on the IO die, when you start cutting down compute dies, you end up losing memory channels. So like I said, the 128 core XCC has three compute dies. The XCC 86 core has two compute dies. HCC and LCC both have one compute die. Now, whether the LCC has uh, four channels or fewer channels, um, HEC or HEC, um, potentially maybe it has eight channels or six channels. We don't know. Um, that hasn't been disclosed yet. But one compute die for the HEC and LCC, two for XCC, and three for UCC. And again, all of these have two IO dies. Now, let's talk a bit more about those IO dies. What's really interesting is that hot chips. Intel disclosed that Granite Rapids D, their more embedded and networking focused Granite Rapids dies, they have an IO die based on Intel's four process. What's interesting is that GNR X, sort of this whole lineup of mainstream parts, uses Intel 7 IO die. Very interesting. Um, why the difference? We'll see, likely because of certain IP being on Intel 4 versus Intel 7 and stuff like that. Um, and speaking of memory channels, um, we have 12 channels of up to DDR5 6400. That's really quick. However, there is a bit of a cost here. And that is you only get one DIM per channel. Which for the for the AP for the for the AP SKUs. The eight core and below SKUs do have dual channel, um, but that speed has not been disclosed. Now, if you want to make up the capacity difference here, Intel uh for the first time, we now have what's called MR DIMs or multi-rank DIMs. This is very similar to Intel's prior generation, which supported MCR DIMMs, and that can run up to 8,800, which is faster and you get that memory capacity back. 
Um, and and because these are the big Xeon C CPUs, speaking of capacity, GNR AP supports 2P, which means that there's two CPUs per motherboard or per system. Whereas GNR SP supports 4P and AP, which means that they can support up to eight CPUs in a system. Those are very useful for stuff like in-memory um, databases where you need tons and tons of capacity. And also why they've kept two GIMs per channel on that smaller platform. And for those interconnects, we have up to six UPI links running at 24 gigatransfers per second for your uh, socket to socket communication. And speaking of, again, speaking of communication, you have up to 96 PCIe lanes of Gen 5 speed, which support CXL 2.0 with all three types of devices. So that's type 1, type 2, and type 3 devices. Now, type 3 devices are quite popular. Those are your memory expansions, uh, memory expanders. Type 1, more limited, that's stuff like DPUs or or networking. In type two, that's stuff with integrated memory. So so let's say a GPU. And type two is not really around in the ecosystem. So we're gonna have to see how that pans out in the future. Um, but for those type three devices, Intel supporting a flat memory mode, which if you remember Optane, this is how Intel managed to get standard DRAM and Optane to work together on the same in the same system, which that that technology is now being essentially used for CXL and and will be supported in all GNR systems as far as I'm aware. Now going a little bit back to the CPUs themselves, now. Because you have these three compute dies for the GNR AP, you have previously you've always had this sort of what's known as SNC or subnuma clustering. Now, what that means is it essentially splits the CPU into different parts. On Sapphire Rapids, you had uh, SNC one, two, and four mode. So that would split the SNC one mode is just the whole CPU as you would expect behaves all together with all your memory channels interleaved. SNC two mode, what it would do is it would essentially interleave four of your eight channels and essentially split the CPU into two blocks. Four does the same thing. Only two of your channels are, are interleaved and it's effectively split as four CPUs. So speaking of, of, subnuma clustering, Granite Rapids, because you have these three IO dies, it now has this new mode, SNC3, or subnuma clustering three. Now, you're not forced to use that mode. You could use what's called hex, which previously would have been known as SNC1 mode. However, there are some detriments here, mostly with regards to latency. Now, with SNC3 mode, you have an L3 latency of about 33 nanoseconds and a memory latency of about 96 nanoseconds. With hex mode, that goes up to about 54 nanoseconds for your L3 latency and 122 nanoseconds of memory latency. That's that's quite a bit of latency. Um, that's so I I could see a lot of workloads workloads benefit benefiting from SNC3 mode. Um, as for the performance per core, they're estimating about 1.2x uh, Emerald Rapids, and perf per watt is a quite nice 1.6x increase. And that's that's especially nice because the power has increased up to 500 watts. Now, power increasing is sort of an industry-wide phenomenon at this point. Um, AMD's Turin goes up to 500 watts, um, so I don't think that there's any big surprise here. General availability for for Grant Ridge AP is really going to start in Q4. Um, they are launching in uh, 
today, um, but the systems will roll out over time. And Granite Rapids SP will be in Q1 of next year. Granite Rapids in the grand scheme of things is moving on the right track. It's 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 following the same methods that that Emerald Rapids followed. And I, I think that that's a very good a very good path for Intel to set. But yeah, that's sort of my off the cuff thoughts about Granite Rapids and and what what it signifies for the future. Um, we'll have to get some test a test system in. Jeff from Craft Computing is getting one, um, so look forward to that. Um, and have a good one, y'all. Um, Jeff, what's your favorite cheese? Oh, my favorite cheese. Uh... I, I like some more softer cheeses. Uh, I particularly like smoked cheese, so like a real good sharp smoked cheddar. Awesome. I have to ask somebody that. Um, if you're to ask my favorite cheese, it's probably a, a, a nice sharp H cheddar as well. Um, though smoke is a bit, I, can, I could take it a little bit. I, I like a good smoke. Mm, that's fair. Well, Thank you for listening to this rambling effectively um, and have a good one, y'all. And because these are the big Xeon chips, they support up to two CPUs per socket. That's a blooper. <laughs> MCR dims up to 8,800, which buys you, band, which brings back that capacity. Speaking of capacity, Granite Ridge AP supports up to capacity. Let me cut. Capacity. Speaking of capacity, Granite Ridge AP supports up to two CPUs per board, so 2P, while Granite Ridge SP supports both uh, two uh, two CPUs per board, as well as four and eight. And... You keep saying three. You did it three times in a row. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, don't I know, I know. At least I know that I start at capacity now. Capacity, yes. Right. Granite Ridge. GNR, Granite Yes. Am I just saying GNR from now on? Okay, there you go. <laughs> Speaking of capacity, GNR supports capacity. Oh my god! <laughs> this is what happens when a, when a video isn't scripted and you're trying to do it off the cuff. There's definitely going to have to be a cut. Anyway, that's all right. Speaking of capacity, GNR AP supports 2P, which means that you can have up to two CPUs in a single system or board. Granite Ridge. Okay, I can cut from there. Yes. Yes. We don't we can skip capacity. We got we got I'll just do capacity again. So <laughs> so you guys can't see it, but Jeff from Craft Computing just put a <laughs> Just put up on the other screen, Granite Rapids, because I keep saying Granite Ridge, which is AMD's uh, consumer Ryzen 9000 series. And it, the two names are so similar. I, I'm, I'm just going to hold this up in the corner. <laughs> Every time I make a mistake, just Granite Rapids. So, yeah. Um, if you can't tell, this is a bit of a stream of consciousness. Um, just rattling off my thoughts. First time for a video like this, no script, obviously, but it is Granite Ridge means for Intel and and what 